Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. This upload will take us a step further in Excel into some of the more advanced features of the program, particularly using VLOOKUP with the form control, sometimes known as a slider. Here's one here. So I'm going to show you how to use the slider with the various formulas that are here in the uh, spreadsheet. There's VLOOKUP, there are some IF statements, uh, there's a linking uh, button, etc. But before I do, I want to show you how to create one of these sliders and how they work. So here on sheet 2, I'm going to note that I need the developer tab up here in the, uh, in the, in the ribbon. If you don't have the developer tab, you need to click File, Options, go to Customize the ribbon and make sure that there is a tick in Developer that one there and then click OK. Now with the developer tab I can use the controls group with the insert command and what I need to do is to insert this little fellow here the scroll bar form control when I click on it I can draw a form control a scroll bar wherever I want on the screen I can move it around as I need to and I also need to change the properties of this form control so that the numbers change in, a, in the cell that I nominate. I do that by right clicking, format control, and I need a minimum value, defaults to zero, I'm going to make that 10. And I'll make the maximum value 100 with an incremental change of 10 every time I use the scroll bar in the form control or use the arrows and we'll click OK. Before we do, we'd better tell it which cell we want the uh, the number in. We'll say cell A1 so that we can see how the number changes. Now we can click OK. The minimum number was 10. Now each time I click the right arrow after deselecting, that number will change by 10. Or click the down arrow, it will decrease by 10. Or I can drag the slider. Either way, entirely up to you. There we go. Good. Now, I've used this particular form control here in this file. You'll notice also here that there are various cells with uh, red triangles in the top right hand corner. That's because to assist you, hopefully you'll download this file for free from the link in the description below. The comments are there to assist you. So the first comment, I'll say here, uh, I've created a drop-down list in this cell to choose the person. The data below has been converted to a table so that additional data will automatically update the drop-down list. This cell. The slider on the left, as we saw, was created from a developer tab and the properties amended as required. The properties in this little bloke are these. I start at 2, I have a maximum value of 5 with an incremental change of 1. So what I'm going to do is to explain to you that there are numbers above these, above, uh, these columns from 2 to 5 which I'm going to use in my VLOOKUP formula so that VLOOKUP knows which column it has to look up to get the result down here. We'll look at that shortly. The numbers incidentally in this cell have been hidden for appearance sake. If, and I did that by clicking on the cell. I went to the Home tab and then in the Custom group I simply typed two double quotes which hid the contents of the cell. The number is still in there but the contents are hidden and I did the same in the cells here. Down here Tom I simply typed an equal sign and said equal C6 which brings in whatever is in C6 whichever name. So if I change the change the person to Mary it says oh Mary's now in C6 so it shows me that. Here, in this cell, 
contain several if statements to show the column text headings these headings here so what I did up here you'll see in the formula bar that there are a number of if statements when I've said if E6 that is this cell that has the column number in it if that equals sales then show the word sales but if it's equal to 3 show the word commission if it's equal to 4 show pay commission if it's equal to 5 say send to bank account with a little ampersand and a question mark at the end to put the question mark down here so you will need to study that if statement to see how it works particularly finally the VLOOKUP formula the VLOOKUP formula looks up the column number created here by the slider and if I look at the formula equal VLOOKUP look in C6 then look in the table then look for the column number in E6 which was created by the slider and then I used the word false because this information is not in alpha ascending order let's see how it works in practice I'm the sales manager and I want to analyze the sales for people without going to the trouble of uh, um, using procedures which might be too long so I want to analyze for example Bill let's look at Bill now Bill in column number one uh, sorry column number two has sales of 18,000 let's click the slider arrow once his commission is 900 do we pay commission no because the uh, commission did not reach the uh, value that was required for the um, for the goal so what I did here I said if E9 is greater than 1500 show yes but if it's less than 1500 show no then I simply copied that formula down so do we want to send to the bank account no not in Bill's case don't send and in here there's a little bit of conditional formatting I said if the uh, cell contains the word don't uh, then or DON uh, actually uh, I said if it contains the characters DON then highlight that cell in red just so that it stands out and we don't send now let's look at somebody else Sue so we're going to click the drop arrow here and we'll go to Sue and we'll look at uh, Sue in number one sales 32,000 good commission 1600 good pay commission yes yes and the send send a bank account yes so Sue's certainly been analyzed and we know that all the formulas are working correctly um, so that's how it's done guys and I'm using the form control to save here the slider bar to save me a lot of fiddling about with entering data it's all done with the mouse now no need to type anything hopefully this has been helpful remember to download the file for practice sake it's all free from the description uh, below this uh, below this video don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now